Hi, I'm Paul from Hobstar Computing Solutions in Mountain South, and I'm here today on behalf of the Mountain City Council's Learning Directory to do first in a three-part series on creating your own free website. Throughout the course of these videos, we will be learning how to make a free website and how to put content up on that site. We will be covering the design and implementation, the settings and templates. Uh, we will learn how to put up a blog post, and we'll also find out what that means, and what sort of content you should include. We will also see how the free and paid options compare and find out what the process is from upgrading, including important considerations and requirements. In this first video, we'll be looking at a few of the options, uh, for ranging from free to cheap. We will discuss briefly what the restrictions are for each, and we'll look at actually starting our own free WordPress site. We'll look at choosing a template and a few of the settings you'll need to know. So before we get started, let's have a look at some of the pricing plans that are available. Here's the one that we'll be using. This is the free plan from WordPress. Make sure we're on wordpress.com because wordpress.net is a completely different thing. Uh, Word, wordpress.net, you can actually host your own site. That requires um, you have a server and load it on that. We're going for the easiest free option available. So wordpress.com slash pricing is where I am at the moment. We have uh, the free plan. There's also personal, premium, business, and e-commerce. We'll discuss some of the differences later on. Um, another option for sites that's really good for uh, making your own site is Squarespace. As you can see from the pricing here, there is not a free option. Uh, the personal starts at $16 a month. And you can have a look at some of the different uh, things that they offer there. Same goes for WordPress over here. So to get started, I'm going to use a new tab here. I've also got my email already loaded because as you should know by now, any site you want to sign up for is going to require a new uh, login with an email and a password. I'm just going to search for WordPress um, space.com. Uh, WordPress.com is where we want to be. I'm going to click on that one. Now this page might change over time. Uh, sometimes there's a start your website button here in the middle, but um, that won't always be there. What should always be there is the getting started button up the top right hand corner here. We'll click on that one. If you already have an account, uh, you can log in down the bottom here. But I'm gonna show you creating a new account. So I'm using hopstarcs at gmail. That's my testing account for things. I make a password. If you've watched the video on, um, that I have on my channel about password managers, you can use it to create a password for this site. I'm actually going to do that now. You can create your own password. Enter in whatever password you want to use there. Here we can enter in what uh, domain or what's the actual site that we want to have. Now with free WordPress, you're sort of limited here, but you should type in something that's going to match what you're going to do. I'm going to create one for today's activity. I already have a WordPress site for my computer stuff. So let's create a fictional one for um, Hobstar TAR Travel. Give it a moment to have a think. And it says you can obviously buy different ones. The one for free is WordPress. Um, hobstartravel.wordpress.com. So for free, you can have um, a domain that has WordPress's details in it. We can click that one uh, and go select uh, other options. If you want to pay, you can choose um, hopstartravel.tours.vacations.voyage.blog.org uh, for different prices there. Often you can get some sort of introductory offer. So get some uh, amount for free. Uh, you might have to pay sort of some registration fee, but um, worth having a look at. For us, as I said, we're making a free website. So let's select the free option. Uh, it does want to sort of steer you towards paying an amount, but if you're just getting started, you don't have to select any of these. We can just click, uh, not sure yet, start with the free site. And we'll come back later, uh, probably in the next video, and talk about the differences between the different plans. So start with a free site. And we'll just give it a moment to think about putting itself together. There we go. So your site has been created. Next, we'll guide you through getting set up and launching your site. So you can click get started. Uh, there's also a nice video you can watch here. I do recommend you actually pause this video now if you're creating your WordPress site uh, while watching this video and also watch their video. And they have more information here about using the block editor, which we'll go through using soon.
Alrighty, so from here we're going to go straight over to the design tab. We're going to go down to themes. And here you can have a look through. There's quite a few free ones you can select from. You can click on them and have a, have a look at them. Uh, the one we're going to be using just for this demonstration is 2020. This is one that's being created by the WordPress team. So it's designed to work with all of the features within WordPress. You can have a look here at what it's going to look like. We can change a lot of these different features. Uh, you can open up a live demo. I recommend doing this one if you've already got a theme selected. You can see what the content on your site looks like without having to change anything. For us, we're just going to activate this design. Uh, it, says it will automatically change your homepage layout and your current homepage uh, will become a draft. So we can actually revert back. So once you've made these changes, they can be easily reverted from. So let's go, yes, activate 2020. And we're going to go to edit the home page we want here. Down the bottom of the screen, you might have noticed by now, our website and dashboard use cookies. By continuing, you agree to use uh, to their use. Uh, learn more, so you can click on that if you want to read more, or we can click uh, got it to get rid of it for now. Uh, welcome to your website. Edit your home page, add the pages you need, and change your site's look and feel. Click next. Add or edit your content. Edit the placeholder content that we've started you off with or click on the plus sign to add more content. So they put in some sort of filler content just to show you what it can look like. And preview your site as you go. As you edit your site um, content, click the preview to see how your site, how the way the site would look uh, when your visitors, what they will see. Uh, so that's it, we've got our page here. Now it's actually not live yet, it actually hasn't gone um, and been published on the internet, so you have time to set things up before it goes live for everyone to see. Uh, welcome to your new site. As you can see, that's from the blog. So we are creating um, a blog. So we should take a moment to actually talk about what a blog is. A blog is a collection of things that interest you that you write as articles. They could be anything from travel, as this one suggests. It could be about art. It could be about sustainable living. It could be about knitting. It could be about anything that you're interested in. Uh, on my site, I do a blog on computer topics, so things that interest me relating to computers. So we've got um, our site here up in kind of a, a view mode. What we want to do is click on the uh, WordPress button up here, um, open up the sidebar, and here we can edit the different blocks in our page. What we actually want to do for now is actually just change the URL here back to wordpress.com. So I'm going to get rid of the rest of that. Press backspace and press enter. And then we're back at our sort of um, our homepage again. This is where we do all our work from. We can go in from the design tab, which is still open here. Before we went into themes, now we're going to go into customize and change the way our site looks. Lots of different options in here. So let's go through a couple of them. As you can see, it's also trying to give you some help as well. So here you can change the design of your site, change your site title, update the colors and fonts, and even add a header image. Explore widgets to find out new features and content to add to your website. Widgets come later on, so don't worry about those for now. You can go, thanks, got it. You have any more help? Was that it for now? Okay, so let's open up site identity first. And here we can give the site a title. So we can call it something like, um, Hobstar Travel. And we can put a tagline. Um, travel everywhere. And you'll see that will appear there. If you wish, you could add a logo to your site if you have one already prepared. I'm actually going to bring this over just a little bit and get rid of a few things. I'm actually going to bring this over to the side just a little bit. I've got some logos prepared already that I use for my computer stuff. Uh, so I'm going to select the logo and we can actually just drag files straight into here. And then we can just go select, to select that image. You can crop the image if required. I'm going to skip cropping. And then instead of putting the title up there, it's put our logo. Now, in a later video, we might discuss making a, a more attractive looking logo. 
something that actually has the name of your site written in it would actually probably be a good idea because then you could have your logo and some text. That'll do for now. On the left-hand side here, we're going to scroll down, have a look down at the site icon. Uh, this is also called a favicon. We can select, once again, an icon. And I'm just going to move this over to the side again. I've got a little version of my logo. I'm going to just drag that in here as well. And make this bigger again. So I'm just dragging in images that I've prepared before. And when we click select, it will give us the option to crop it again. We will crop it this time just to make it nice and uh, sort of tight there. And this one will appear up on the, uh, the sidebar here, up on the tabs. When your site is open for people to view, you can see here we have the Gmail fav icon. We have the WordPress one, Squarespace, Squarespace one there. Uh, so that's the icon that will appear up there. You can see a little preview down there in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. Uh, the footer credit, we should also mention, because we're using WordPress for free, we have a couple of options, but all of them require you to credit WordPress in some way. If you want to hide it, it requires you to upgrade to the business plan, which is their second highest level. So um, getting things for free, sometimes it costs you something. And in this case, it's um, giving WordPress um, their credit. So WordPress logo, we can do that and actually scroll down and have a look at the bottom. It has a little WordPress logo. That's probably the least obtrusive one. So if I change it over to, for example, um, powered by WordPress, see it's quite long. So the most sort of well hidden one is that one. Nope, that's it. Choose the wrong one then. Uh, logo. But you can choose whatever you like down there, but you do have to have one of those things. Um, one thing that I've always found hard to navigate with the WordPress site is to go back, I'm looking for a button here. That's the browser back button. We don't want to click that one. There's an X there. We don't want to click that other. There's a back arrow here. The other thing we should be doing as we move along is click Save Changes when we're in these different sections. So let's click Save Changes. There we go. And now we can click this back button here. There we go. Now you can see these other tabs here. We can do all sorts of different things like changing the, uh, the colors of the pages. I might actually change that from that kind of cream color to some sort of sky blue kind of color. Mm. That's pretty nice. Then you can even dial this down here so you can get all sorts of different colors. That's quite nice. Once again, save changes. And click back. We can go to theme options. Different themes can sometimes have different options available for them. Uh, I don't think we need to change anything here. I don't think we need a search for our page. So on the right hand side here, you can see there's a search button. Not all sites need a search one. So let's untick that. And we can leave the author bio going to discuss in a later video about making an about me page or an author bio. And we can say for a summary, so that when we do have some blogs on our page, it shows a summary of them, not the full thing. It's handy for later. Back button, let's see. You can change the fonts. I usually like to leave it on the default theme for the font. Um, that's the font that comes with the theme that we have selected, which was, which was the 2020 theme, but you can change it to all sorts of different things. Um, you see how it changes the font for the headings. Find something that looks a bit more fancy if you wish. You might like that. And then for the actual base font, the actual font of the text it should be something that's readable. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. You can quite easily go and change this later on. Find one that suits your style. That learn more, I don't actually like that. That's part of the headings. So if I change the headings to something else, not quite as fancy, but very readable. So I'm gonna leave these back to uh, the default, which is usually at the top. There's an option for default. Ah, picking the X, we'll put it back to default. Just click uh, Save Changes. I just want to show you, if I click the back arrow here, fine, Save Changes is still there, but I like to save it as I go along. Can change the background image. At the moment, it has a default one. I believe it's behind here. Let's actually check that. Select Image. It does give you some other ones by default. Uh, let's just choose that picture just to see where it pops up. Choose Image. Ah, it's actually the um, front of that or behind that. That's interesting. So I'm going to actually just remove that one. 
you could put something else there. Put the back arrow there. We can edit what menus appear. You won't be able to edit your menus until you confirm your email address. So some things you will need to confirm your email address. Let's check that in a moment. We'll notice when we signed up, it didn't actually ask us to confirm our email address. The only other thing I think we want to do here is have a look at the content options. Play date, play category, play tags, and author. So when you do a post, a blog post, these are the things that will be displayed. Maybe you don't want to use categories, for example. Um, maybe you don't want to use tags. So the date will be the date that the blog post was posted. You can create your own category. So for travel, you might have within Australia, overseas, you might have um, things to consider, different categories you can make. Um, same sort of thing for tags, really. Uh, you can display your name as an author if you have multiple people posting. Maybe you want to turn that off so it all seems to be coming from one site. Uh, featured images is fine to leave on. Let's go save changes. Uh, before we go and register our email address, something that's really cool you can do down the bottom here of the page. Um, at the moment, it's set to your computer. We can change it to how this would look on a tablet. We can actually scroll down and have a look. Looks pretty good. How it looks on a mobile phone. All of these have been designed to work properly on each of these devices, which is really clever. That looks pretty good. I'm going to change it back to computer for now. Let's go over and check our inbox for our email. It hasn't come through here, but over here it updates the way the Gmail works. Let's put it in here. Let's activate it by clicking on the email from WordPress. And then click here to confirm now. And then one, once that's confirmed, we can just close this tab. When we come back to here, next time we refresh the page, it'll get that new um, update. Let's go uh, back here. And I think that's about all for setting up. Next, we're going to have a look at creating our first blog post. So for this next section, I actually managed to knock the uh, cable on my microphone and didn't record the audio. So I'm going to actually cover up my face for this section and do a voiceover. Um, if you, I didn't cover my face, then you'd see my mouth moving and the words wouldn't line up. So here we go. Uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go um, over to the home page settings and have a look at those ones. So down the bottom left there, uh, down to home page settings. And in here we can have either your latest blog post or a static page. Uh, for a static page, you can choose which page is your home page. You could have your about page, your blog, your contact. Uh, we're going to set ours to home. That's what our page is going to look like when people visit our site. Uh, for posts, it's important that we also set that to be blog. If we set the home page to be our latest post, then um, whatever our latest, latest um, blog post is will be presented there. Here we can see some example ones that are posted, um, added by WordPress. change it over to the latest posts, and then we're going to click uh, Save Changes. So we actually are going over to the latest uh, post. So our home page, because we're a blog, it's not a bad idea. Now, all of these settings have been inside of the um, custom design section. So if we actually click the X button back here, we'll actually move back to the main part of the, um, the editor where we edit all our different paging. So we were in uh, Design and Customize. That whole section was inside of there. And that can be confusing for navigation. We're actually going to go over to the site tab here. You can either click on the word site on the arrow or anywhere on that line. And we're actually going to go over to posts. Here you can also see pages, media, comments, and feedback. But for now, we only care about posts. So here are the example posts of WordPress add for you. We can click on that button and click trash. So that's clicking on the three dot button there to give us options. And we're just going to delete all of these three example posts. There we go. Those little tick boxes will allow us to undo it. There's an undo button in case you accidentally deleted something. They will disappear on their own, but I'm just going to click the X button to get rid of them. We're going to add a new post now. This is going to be our first post, our first blog post. So our first blog. Terminology is interchangeable. Uh, we're going to give it a nice big title. This is going to be some sort of um, introductory one. So we can say I'm um, all about welcoming everyone to Hopstar Travel, uh, made up a fictional blog. And then I've actually got a selection of made up test, uh, text on the next screen, which I'm just going to copy in and then uh, paste uh, down here. So I'm just going to copy that from the other side. And then I'm going to paste it in here in a moment. Control V to paste. This is just some made up text. 
Uh, one thing I like to do actually is we can add um, code blocks, which is something we're going to discuss in the next video, how to make our blogs look better. But for now, you'll notice that when you put your uh, cursor between some lines, you might not see the plus. In that case, you might need to press enter to add some more space. But we did see it, so we can just click on that when it appears. And with all these different code blocks that we're going to learn about next time, but for now, we're just going to type in the word more, M-O-R-E, and choose the block that comes up there. And then when this um, post is viewed as your homepage um, by other people, not so much by you, it's kind of confusing when you look at it, I'll have to click the read more button uh, to actually view the rest of the post. It was just at a time when I didn't need to be talking. That was perfect. Who was it? I don't know. Let's see if they even message in a sec. What we need to do is click on the little gear button here. Okay, there we go. So if you have a settings we want to um, adjust for this post, you want to click on the little gear button up the top there where it says settings. There's quite a few things you can do. You can change whether or not this post is visible publicly. You might want to have it set so that someone else can actually edit it. You might have an editor, someone who does um, editing for your blog. There's no worry about that too much. Uh, you can set up that it is published at a certain time, so a scheduled post, which is quite handy. Um, I recommend you actually have, and this will be part of your homework, uh, five blog posts already written for your blog. So that uh, you can say, well, let's release one once a week or once a month, in which case you'll be way ahead of the, uh, the curve there. Uh, we can say that we want to um, stick it to the top of the blog. So make sure that this one appears at the top of everything. Um, pending review, if you have other people who review things for you. Uh, we can set a featured image, which is really important. I don't have any good ones saved here at the moment. Um, I'm going to show you in a minute where you can go to get some um, free images from. I'm just going to choose this one, which is already my, my site's uh, background. And then I'm just clicking on the choose button down the bottom right there. And you won't actually see it here. You won't see it until we actually view the finished product. Uh, we can click the preview button to see what it's going to look like. So everything looks good here. We have the, uh, the heading up there. We have our picture. We have our text. Uh, we don't see the more button there at the moment. You only see that if you're a visitor to the site. So it's kind of a bit confusing, but uh, trust me, it'll look good later on. Uh, we can also uh, click close here, but before we do, let's click preview. And we'll actually, um, we're in the preview, we can actually change the way that um, it'll be viewed. So that's how it looks on a phone. Uh, we're going to leave it on desktop for now and click close. And we're actually going to schedule it, but I'm actually going to come back in a moment and actually undo the schedule. I actually want to do it now, and the, button, the way to do that is you have to actually click the reset button. It takes me a moment here to work that out. I'm trying to set different, uh, different things there, but uh, a moment, yep, click reset, and it changes it back to um, not being scheduled and being ready to publish now instead. So I click publish. Give that a moment. And uh, to get back to where we were, we can click the WordPress button there and then click the back arrow up the top there, back to view posts. And we're back to our sort of our dashboard area here. And we'll see all of our posts listed there, but only in the one that we have um, open for now, one that we've um, entered. Uh, we can click the uh, coming soon button there. We can click the coming soon button, and this gives us a nice little preview of how our front page will look. Uh, there's also a button somewhere else. I always have trouble finding it. It's a uh, view your site. Uh, let's have a look around here. It's not only coming soon. It, uh, visit site in the top right hand corner. You can see it there. Uh, I'll find it in a moment. I'm just showing you how it looks. We should see the more button, but we don't because once again, we're previewing it. Uh, view site is the button we want to click. I actually like to right mouse click on it and then left click on open link in new tab. So that's right click and then left click. And that way we have two different tabs open and we can switch between. You can even see our little fab icon or favicon up there from what we selected before so that people visiting our site would actually see that. It also says your site has, hasn't been launched yet. Only you can see it until it's launched. So there's a big launch site button up there in the top right hand corner. Uh, this is a way that you can test it out, even send a link to a few people to have a look 
before you actually launch it. But I'm just going to actually click launch site. Once again, it's going to try and get us to maybe purchase some things, but we're going to click on uh, skip purchase down the bottom right there. So um, here we can just click not sure yet, and we're going to talk about the plans in a later video. Hooray, your site will be up soon. We'll let it load for a minute. We've got two tabs open here. This is where it gets confusing. Like, I want to be viewing my site. Uh, show the site setup. We're going to skip that just for now. Uh, that's where you can do other things. Uh, visit site once again. Let's get that open. We've already got our other one there. So let's click this one for our visit site. We can tell we're actually viewing it because we have a little fab icon up there, a the little um, tiny little star. And um, in our URL, if you ever get lost, you can just go to wordpress.com if you get lost and just sort of reset from there. Once again, because weird ones logged in viewing it, we're not seeing the, uh, the more button. Uh, so yeah, I'm just explaining up there, you can change the uh, URL to be wordpress.com if you ever get lost and you can sort of go back to the start. Um, but also you can copy that URL now and actually give that to people. If you actually go to um, Hobstar Travel um, slash WordPress, Com, you'll actually come to my site and you can actually view the site live and um, I'm going to leave it up for you guys to have a look at. Um, over here back in posts, back in the other tab on the posts, I think this is where I'm explaining um, the homework which is to find yourself a site logo. I'm going to uh, show you a couple of links for that and also to um, find yourself some images to use for different documents. Uh, it's a great idea to have five blog posts as I mentioned already written. A place where you can get some free images. It's not the only place, but there's um, Pixar Bay. Once again, I'll make sure there's links in the description of the video that you can click on to go to to have a look. Uh, and if you go to Pixar Bay, you can find images that you can use for free. Uh, they're royalty free, so you can use them as much as you like. Uh, it is nice if you can put the, um, the link to the, the photo in your description of your um, blog post, maybe, uh, or in, in one section of it. Click free download and don't worry about any of the settings, just click download. If you create an account, you won't have to complete this I am a robot test each time. Yeah, I'm clicking on parking meters. And then just click download. And then you'll just have to remember where you downloaded your uh, images from. Keep an eye out on the Mountain City Council Learning Directory YouTube channel and Facebook page for more videos and ways to connect.